Hello everyone. Let us provide the solution to this problem. Okay, we have 2 over x multiplied by 2 over x equal to square root of 16 over 9. Okay, you can be trying to think for, you know, think of the value of x, right? But then let's solve this and see. Remember that in this case, we can just multiply 2 by 2 and x by x. So we have 4 over x squared. And this will now be equal to square root of 16 over 9. Now, you might be trying to eliminate the square root from here. But then, 16 and 9 are both perfect square, right? So x i mean 4 over x squared will be equal to square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 9 is 3 okay so now let's continue solving from here now what do we do remember that when you are having okay let me just follow the the step now let's cross multiply to get the value of x so we have 4x squared, which will be equal to 4 times 3. That will give 12, right? Okay, so from here now, we divide by 4 and divide by 4. This will cancel this. But then x squared will now be equal to 12 over 4, which is 3. Now, what I wanted to do before is to, you know, work with the denominator since the... the the numerators are the same okay but then this is the step that i took from here now we need to take the square root of both sides okay and remember that when you're taking the square root of both sides you will have um, two values right which is um plus or minus square root of three and from here this cancels this and x is now equal to um, plus or minus square root of 3 meaning that x is either equal to positive square root of 3 or negative square root of 3 and then if you put these two values okay into the problem what would you get let's check our answer and see remember the original equation is x over 2 times x over 2 equal to square root of 16 over 9 okay now let me put in the first value of x which is square root of 3 okay is that the original equation no i turned it upside down okay so this is the equation we have 2 over x times 2 over x equal to square root of 16 over 9 and then from here this is 2 over square root of 3 multiplied by 2 over square root of 3 that is if i put in the value of um, x as root 3 so from here now 2 times 2 is giving us 4 and then root 3 times root 3 will give us 3 because it will give us square root of 9 which will still give us 3 and then what we have here and what we have here are the same because square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 9 is 3. So this means that x to be equal to root 3 satisfies the equation. Now let's put in the negative. If we put in the negative, what do we have? We are going to have um, 2 over square root of 3 but negative square root of 3 multiplied by 2 over square root in, in fact it's a um, negative square root of 3 right negative um, square root of 3 now let's deal with this okay if we continue with this 2 times 2 will give 4 and then negative times negative will cancel each other first and then what we have here will now be 3 okay because square root of 3 times square root of 3 will still give us 3 so this is to confirm that both of them satisfy the original equation.